briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1925, the Supreme Court of the United States heard the case of Gitlow v. New York, which centered on the limits of free speech and its potential threat to government and public safety. Benjamin Gitlow and three others were charged with criminal anarchy due to their promotion of anarchist ideas through writings advocating for a communist system by the power of the proletariat. Gitlow appealed his conviction, arguing that the law violated his constitutional rights. However, the court maintained that his writings, which advocated for overthrowing the government through violence, justified the conviction. The Supreme Court affirmed this decision, reasoning that Gitlow's promotion of the material was relevant to their analysis, and that the statute's material provisions did not violate the 14th Amendment's due process clause. Ultimately, the court ruled that the law prohibiting advocating for the overthrow of the government through unlawful means was constitutional, and Gitlow's conviction was lawful. The decision established that the Constitution does not grant absolute freedom of speech and press, allowing the state to punish individuals who misuse their freedom by spreading harmful information or advocating violence. The statute was determined to apply only to dangerous utterances. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.